This is Twit. My review was very similar to a Everybody lot of the other else's. reviews yes. that I saw, yeah. which was the hardware is amazing. The software, not quite so much. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, um, pushed out a yeah. pretty big update that the minute I got yeah. mine out of the box, and I'm sure yeah. you, the reviewers got theirs too. Well, you know, you know when we got that update? So here's a little inside story on that. We, we were supposed to get that update on September 10th, the day the reviews came out. And I think they thought better of that because they were like, wait, we better give them this update to stabilize things before yeah. they do their reviews, right? right? So yeah. we get it a week ahead, which oh, was good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am... Um, you know, I, what do you think? I agree with you. Beautiful <laughs> hardware. Yep. In fact, it makes me more, even more interested in the Neo. Because yep. the Neo will be a big <laughs> version of this running Windows uh, 10X. 10X. Yep. With a keyboard. Because that's one of my complaints about this is the, the form factor, which is really like a little book, cute little book, yeah. does not lend itself well to typing. So you either have to put it down... Fold so, it up, and it doesn't really. The accelerometer is kind of imperfect, but you know that's true on what all would phones. The, what would the keyboard look like? Like in which orientation do you see using it with a keyboard? Well, if you okay, so there's a couple of things you can do. You know, if mm -hmm. if you do it like like you would do it normally on a phone, you'll probably fold it over. But then you have a okay. weird three by yeah. two no, aspect it, but, ratio. But phone. if you could open that thing and have it be flat. And maybe you had like a Bluetooth keyboard or something that had like a little slot that, in it so you okay. could sit in their angle. That's, That's why the right, Neo right? is interested. That's kind of what the Neo is going to yeah. do, right? You and also then, can type this way, like put it yeah. vertically but, and yeah. have the keyboard yeah. This be is the where bottom. the software gets funky. It does. Because, <laughs> and actually Lou M.M., who works for Microsoft, and he's been dogfooding this for a lot longer than me, said the accelerometer works better if it's flat. Mm. So you do the flip-flop, the Fosbury flop. <laughs> There you go. And it did it, right? And now yeah. you slightly close it, put it down yeah. delicately so it doesn't flip back. And now I wish yep. I could. Can you give me an over the uh, shoulder shot, uh, 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 John or, or Aunt, somebody? Because I want to show what it looks like. This is actually very usable. It's a bigger keyboard than you would So it's a have. mini, yeah. it's uh, smaller than a Surface Go. It is. Go. Yep. <laughs> it's the Surface well, Go Junior. So you also can use it in, in landscape mode with the keyboard spanning across both screens or on one screen or the other. So if you want to type one fingered on one screen or the other while it's open, which I could not master to save my life. Yeah, the, um, this, is yeah. No way to, this is no way to type. And then no. to get yeah, it to dual screen. That's what screen, I was thinking about. Get it to yeah. dual yeah. screen. You, um, oops. Unlock. Oh, no, I just launched these. That's, this is the yeah. problem with it. It's a little finicky yep. about the touches you drag it let's see open one note drag it up <laughs> and then drag it over and when both over. screens are lit now it's dual screen and then now so i have the one note stuff on the left yep. the, and outlook yep. works this way too and that's actually that's not good. that ain't bad yeah no, but what do you, i mean bad. how often do you need that <laughs> you know exactly. what i mean well yep. and also it's fatiguing because <laughs> you really do kind of have to hold it like this like an open book yeah and that's yeah. kind of fatiguing it is. Okay, I'm so glad to hear you say that because yeah. I, I didn't put that in my review because I was like, oh, everyone's going to say, oh, she's got weak wrist. She no, can't no, hold no. this thing up. But <laughs> it's a half a pound plus the bumper, right? And you're holding this thing. And it, after a while, right. my hand was like, ugh. But here, here's the thing <laughs> I think everyone natural, It's knows. not a natural position. The two screens, though, did you start painting or become creative in any way? <laughs> was there a... <laughs> you did know I start what? baking again, more things? I yeah, get yeah, a yeah. shot of it, so I can't really show you. But the groups, the app groups really are cool. In fact... I'll be honest with you, if it weren't $1,400, I would say this is the best chess wallet I've ever had. I have my chess book here on the Kindle. I have my chess <laughs> set here, my board, my analysis, my stockfish. Yeah. This is a great, so this is an example of the dual use yeah. where you have two apps open at once. And actually, this is a great way, uh, YouTube TV and, uh, I don't know, Twitter. You could have open YouTube TV and Twitter. Yeah. Um, and so that's actually, I have YouTube TV and uh, Edge. And so that's kind of nice. And it's actually great for watching TV um, yeah. because I just you couldn't figure it. out. I couldn't figure out use cases for the two apps side by side. Like you hear that and you're like, oh, yeah, cool. And then you're like, OK, what two apps would I put side by side that I need to look at at the exact same time? See, isn't yep. that cute? The TV's like this <laughs> and it's sitting like a Smurfus. Yeah. And I got the yeah. website here so I could have Twitter open here and I could be tweeting and TV. Yeah. And Remember, hey, this is kind of thing. short. 
this was short lived, but for a little while on TV, they were, they used to promote these things called two screen experiences. Right. Like you'd watch The Walking Dead in season two or three, mm -hmm. and you'd be like, you know, get your uh, get your laptop ready, you know, and because yeah. so you'd I have like some that. extra thing, like a chat window or something, and then you'd have TV, obviously, a new TV screen. Actually, yeah. do so that. it sounds like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So part of the reason I think people didn't like the software is it's just not traditional Android. So yeah. it's disconcerting because some of the gestures, for instance, normally this would be return to home swiping up, and it isn't. Just tapping. It took me a while to figure out, oh, you just tap the bottom to return mm -hmm. to home. There, I got my picture in picture. Um, so, so they've changed the gestures a little bit. Uh, so also, you know you can turn off gestures, as I'm sure you figured out. Well, Android I do gestures. have the... It's funny because I have gestures turned off, but I still have the back button and the home, and the recent. Button. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the back button. Yeah, you need the home. it. <laughs> you need it yeah. because it's but very it hard to get to recents. That. Yeah, but, it well, ships without that on, and so then you're kind of like, I'm like totally without an orientation or a start place, right? You're like, what do I do, right? Hey, I'm engineers! So sad I didn't get one of these. Engineers, <laughs> can I get some help here? Can you please put an over the shoulder? I'm sorry, I have to do this. <laughs> My big mistake no, I think it's good. when I set up it. this network was to let anybody else be involved. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sending you all home. Um, oh, man. So now I don't even remember what we were talking about now. Um, no, the whole idea of turning off just Android gestures. Oh, yeah, I have them here. Um, and going back to the three-button navigation, that. that helps a lot. Because the gestures are different. Jeez. The other thing, and yeah. this is minor, but for the longest time I was trying to get to the settings by hitting this button, this gear button. Right. Oh, no, that's the, the, that's the brightness that's the bright. button. <laughs> Look yeah. how close yeah. that looks to the gear button. I that's know. just a Microsoft thing. You could fix that, Microsoft. Maybe you should. Um, yeah. So, But I think I have gestures. Uh, let me just see. I think I have it... Uh, gestures. If you have the home button, oh and the back no, button. I turned on three button navigation. See, if yeah, you turn on better. gesture navigation, <laughs> no. it's not usable because it's not. Look what happened. <laughs> I don't know why all these things just opened. Yep, <laughs> go away. So that's the this other thing, problem. And it now it's dead. Like it's by possessed. the way, yeah, it's possessed. Now that's yeah. software. They could fix that. Yeah, I think they can fix it. With See, it's software. not doing. Oh I wait do. a minute. Now I'm in gesture mode. Never mind. So that's back to the gesture. Okay, so maybe I can get used to that. Yeah, because there's recents. <laughs> for me, the problem with the gestures was, first, if you've never used Android gestures, you yeah. have to learn that. And then Microsoft layers its own gestures on That's top of problem. Android gestures. It's non-standard. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that is a little guys, bit of the problem. I'm sorry. I like this, you though. Look, Don't you like this? If you look at how elegant the, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 thing is, I mean, I, this just looks unready, you know? It I just like looks the, like they shipped like it too the soon. Launcher. The Love the launcher. Normally, I switch my launcher. With all your recent docs but isn't this and good stuff? here, like this? Yeah. yeah. And this That's is really customizable. Good. This is the left side. I and like so that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, it's little things like the way the uh, icons here kind of get get all get oh whoop, get together and then whoop spread apart. They move all by like I never could figure out why do they show up on one side or the other, right? Like especially oh. trying <laughs> to open the camera, right? Oh, well, the camera is terrible. If, okay, excuse the me. The camera this always opens to selfie. First, yeah. Unless and then, then, you open the camera on the left. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I didn't know Try that. that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, but how do I get it to the left? Exactly. Right. So you <laughs> okay. have to fold your. I'll fold do it, it this over. way. Okay. <laughs> Selfie. See. But then. No, 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 but that's what's supposed to happen. See, then when you do this. Yeah. Yep. This thing but is it also doesn't. the double you tap to switch instead. screens is dumb. I know. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I was it's, completely it's wrong. Haunted. This thing's awesome. I'm sorry I ever complained about it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, but it makes. I don't want to make this sound so negative. It's. I actually no. like it. You know, what? I, I like the concepts, and I like that they're I, trying something new. But it, they came uh, out with this so early, like it's not ready to sell to people. I don't feel like. Yeah, I feel like they rushed there you it. Go. You got it. So now <laughs> that did it and may turn it into a, a, a camera. But this is a potato camera. And that's the other problem. Yeah, is it's, not, it is. it's not a good camera. But yeah. I think the really, and now I understand why they said it's not a phone. It isn't. It's a little computer. <laughs> and honestly, nobody should buy this unless they can afford to have this and a phone. Yeah. That's the real yes. problem. This couldn't, you wouldn't want this for your standalone phone. For instance, when you close it, there's no indication that you have yeah. a notification no. at all. Nope. There's yeah. no information. You have to do the peak mode. So peak you have to mode. go in here. <laughs> and I, so. to be fair, this fingerprint works great. That's a good choice. It does. 
Yep. Um, that's it's a separate from the uh, on off switch, but it works great. I just it's such a beautiful piece of hardware. I'm actually glad I own it. It was expensive. I had to buy it, but yeah, uh, I'm kind of glad I own it. I think it's a really elegantly designed. I think it is a tablet, and the way I primarily use it is a tablet. I have yet to really use it in this this mode where you, oops. Yeah, where you have it, uh, two two yes, two things and you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I feel like in that view, I mean, it here's could make the reason. Sense. Look at that. <clears throat> see, yeah, see. So you you guys are wearing masks, but if I scroll it, so <laughs> the screen thinks there's something where the hinge is. Yeah. Now, yes, now you're in the witness right. protection oh, that is, program. That is kind of strange. Okay. Yeah. Every app should yeah. right. say, "Oh no, there's I two screens." I bet they did that on purpose. Why? Because they don't want an, an offset. Like maybe it would be horrible for video. It would video. be offset. But there's things like when I do my crossword puzzles, and this would should be in theory a perfect crossword puzzle machine. Yeah. But you can't do it that way because you're missing a whole a whole mm -hmm. row of yep. en of entries, and there's no scrolling. And there's in no this. way you mm -hmm. can't scroll. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's so a huge that's problem. a failure. Um, now Google yeah, Maps. Yeah, they're counting on developers to fix their they apps. They shouldn't. For this, but but, but if big... Microsoft doesn't, why would Wait, the developer? See what's happening right, right there. Like you're holding yeah, the thing sideways. It doesn't rotate by itself. It does that I lot. mean, it's just. Uh, it works better if it's flat like this, and then you can tent it. You that, know, it, it would work tip. great if it was a single screen mini tablet. But <laughs> yeah. remember, yeah. a lot of phones, including my iPhone, the accelerometer is wonky. Hmm. This this is never. This is. You'd think this would work better. On all See, phones. I find accelerometers are often too touchy. Not right. And so it's going whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. 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 So maybe that's a tunable right. feature. Yeah. But I mean, I think if you're using Teams or Skype in this yes. mode, it's great. Teams Teams is the Actually, perfect like app this for this phone. Because you'd want the it camera. Yeah. 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 Okay. I feel like if you have a meeting on one side and you have to look at a document they're talking about in the meeting, there's your perfect, perfect yeah, yeah. use case for this. And right? that's why the Neo is getting exciting for me. Uh, see, actually, and I have, you know, I turned, there's a little bug. I'm not sure if it's in the Kindle app or not, but I turned off um, the the cool page turn in Kindle because it was jumping pages and that wasn't good. <laughs> so I have to, let me turn it back on though. Look, see? Mm -hmm. I, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, supposedly good. Google Maps has been updated now. Let me let me just see out of curiosity to to understand the dual screen somehow. But uh, you know, I don't know where's where's Maps. M A B C D E F G. So if mm -hmm. I do this, let's see. No, see, still like mm -hmm. I've made work disappear. Oh, you can't it's so bright. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let me turn down the brightness. This time I won't use that gear. I'll use this gear. <laughs> All right. Now you can see it. So you can see, uh, you know, stuff still hiding in the gap. Yep. Um, you got to move things around. To but see it's nice to have whole... a map at this size. I mean. Yeah, it is. You know. I, yep. I have to remember now. Let's see. What else was I going to show you? Well, let me show The Kindle is so awesome. If, the Kindle app's cool. If you could just say, look, I just wanted a $1,400 Kindle. <laughs> and, and I'm really happy now. This this would yep. be a great choice if yep. you if you have that much money to burn. Where's the settings? You know, oh, I, like I I always talk about. I only want to carry two devices, and a lot of times I do carry a Kindle, laptop, and a phone. So this would replace the Kindle yeah. if it could replace my what phone, great, but it can't. What a great reading <laughs> experience! This actually looks like a book. Yep. You know. I, Wait, but why does that? Why is that important? I, I books are old fashioned. I know. You know. Yeah. You books know, are the way we used to do this things. This is what I want on the airplane, but I don't want it I, to be my well, phone. I want it to be my little mini bitty computer. Yeah. yeah. But this, I'm gonna. This will be great. Someday I'll fly again, and this will be great to take on the airplane to watch TV, to read books, to do that dual screen thing for things like you know chess study. It's great, but you still need a phone for notifications and stuff like that. Because also because this. This yeah. <laughs> is dopey. This is just not. Yeah, you got to use it with I'll earbuds. It ear. It's weird yeah. otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> or the speaker, if you if there's nobody yeah, around. Yeah, the speaker. And it doesn't yeah. have a great speaker. It's a mono speaker, but it's good enough for a phone call. I actually yeah. been listening to books on it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, it's not a complete failure, and I and I and I really don't want people to take the negative reviews as like, oh, they should just kill this. Right. 
I, I don't think they're going to. I, the rumor is they're already building version two for next year. Yeah. So, yeah, and yeah. I, presumably yeah, yeah. the Duo Two will be even better. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like the bar. Just, it's, it's beautiful hardware. Really it really is. Great. The hardware is amazing. It is. They need a better camera, but again, I don't think anybody would want this as their sole phone. This is your work phone, maybe. Right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I want it to be a device I can take to an office and plug into a monitor and have it be my like work oh, yeah. computer. The Samsung continue? does this. What is wrong with you I two? The, I know. Yeah, but that's Samsung, janky. Yeah, Samsung does it, but Samsung phones are terrible because of the Samsung ecosystem. <laughs> right. Like, I don't want I don't, all the this stuff Samsung This is a Samsung very Microsoft. I don't want all that. Paul, do you <laughs> have the Fold? No. Are you going to no. get the Fold? Nope. It's too expensive. Yeah. $2,000. Yeah. I would. Yikes. I wish I. I wish I could afford it, but I, there's a lot of other stuff I have to get, and this yeah. is an expensive quarter, and we don't have a lot of money, yeah. so I can't. See, now it's doing the thing that really bugs me, which is it's it's just not responding. Oh, now it responded like later. Yeah. So the it's slow laggy. response is a problem, yeah. but I do. I love this this idea. And now I can show you. I mean, first I have to flatten it, then I have to do that. This is great. <laughs> Then I have to bang it three times on the desk. <laughs> Just Come on, baby. As a Come on, baby. Everyone watching, Leo actually knows a thing or two about tech. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. I know you can little do trouble. It. I broke it. So, yeah. but it's that's a nice way to watch TV is in the little with a little Smurfus uh, book because that's what this is. It's a little Smurfus laptop, and the, I do I do think I do think that this the Smurfus uh, Neo will be great. Jeez, <laughs> based on no. this, yes, because it'll be bigger. <laughs> it'll have a keyboard that slides out. It'll be this because this is a really interesting form factor. You know, let me just throw like one idea out here. They they thought this was good enough to ship in its current form. They delayed the Surface Neo because the software wasn't ready. Right. Are you kidding right. me? Right. Like this is what they decided to ship. Can you even imagine how terrible Windows 10X must be right now? <laughs> <laughs> 